210 is uh, the episode over. It's, it's a quieter episode. It's basically Walt realizing that he's actually not dying of cancer. <coughs> Coughing of, up of blood he's been doing that prompted him to go and cook the world's biggest batch of meth turns out to be ancillary damage to his lungs. They put him on some sort of inhalable steroid and he's getting better. Mom wants a party. You got a lot to celebrate, don't you think? Sounds good. Skyler decides to have a party. I would like to make a toast. <laughs> and this is not something I like or I want to do. I don't want the feeling of people saying, oh, I'm so sorry for you all the time. I have to say Walt's come through it like a champ. And it feels like pity and, and you're, you're like the turkey at Thanksgiving. You're constantly being picked at. So I'm not in a, the greatest of mood at the, at the top of it. <laughs> <laughs> Hank is the cool guy. He's just the guy that everyone admires, and he wants to kind of be like Hank. My dad's jealous of that. I see my son just idolizing his uncle. I've had it. I'm tired of that. I want to get on some kind of even playing field and in an awkward and inappropriate way, get my son to be more on my side. We're celebrating. He does, and he's excited about it, and that prompts me to give him another one. It's totally, totally out to left field. A father giving his own son. Hank proceeds to take the bottle away, and it's like, no, no, you come back here with that. It's my son, my bottle, my house. Walt, for the first time, allowed his alter ego, Heisenberg, to actually come out and be present, and it, it feels good. Walt finally brings a bit of uh, the evil Walt to his house. And of course, afterward, he regrets it. Oh, damn! Mmm. Clumsy. <laughs> no, no, Ted, you don't have to do that. She actually does start flirting with him. Ted is a veering off from her complete devotion to Walt. Being that rock takes everything you got. I think it's a protection, and it's also an escape for her. And, and don't buy everything in one place. Do it piecemeal. Different items, different stores. Attracts less attention. Are you following me here? The question in this episode is, do I, Walt, keep cooking crystal meth and being a criminal in the face of this knowledge that I may indeed live for years? It feels powerful to be able to man up and stand on your own two feet and make demands. Stay out of my territory. The realization he comes to that he's so far down this path that he can't not be Heisenberg anymore. He can't not be a criminal.